Didn't you have like a shoulder injury or something? No, no. A deltoid ligament. Oh, yes. That's what it was. Okay. Was that a shoulder thing? No, that's in the, in the ankle. Oh, that's in the mm-hmm. ankle. Same ankle that's, uh, that got I looked it up, though. A deltoid is in the arm. No, we have like a deltoid uh, in oh, the inside. Oh, we have multiple do- deltoids? In the inside of the ankle. <laughs> You're yeah, thinking deltoid. of altoids or something. Maybe. No, deltoid. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, deltoid. Okay. It's like one of the largest <laughs> ligaments, mm. right? Mm-hmm. It's like the inside of the ankle. Yeah, I rolled it like this way. So you did that before you had the... I did this filming for Define. I got okay. cut short on the deadline because of that because I was... I went to Frost to try a trick, and then um, I was grinding it, warming up, and I kind of, like, step off the... Oh. Like, I grind down and flat, and, like, I did this a bunch of times, jumping off, running down the stairs, and then just one of them, Mm. I ran, and then, like, kind of misstepped the right one, so I let go to... So I didn't roll that, and then I went full body weight on the left, and that's when it, like... So you're saying you you rolled it outwards? I I mean... I rolled it like this. uh, Over the top. Yeah, and then what happened was, like, Uh, that was the explanation about the... From the PTs. Okay. My foot moved back, you know, from that rolling and cut the deltoid ligament, Mm. you know? So it was kind of like a clean cut, like, Mm. not like a stretch and tear. Okay. that on the the double kink? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. What were you trying? (laughs) I wanted to switch crook because oh. I had that in my head. Like I, I, I that I, I want that to be my last trick because I had like switch back nose one on Clipper. I'm like, I just want to add one more, you know. Mm. And I'd be what? like thinking about that. Oh, you wanted to, so because Clipper, dude, we got to talk about Clipper though. Because you had that, you got that a while before. Yeah, the switch back nose one was kind of older, not older footage, but yeah, you had yeah, gotten yeah. a while back. But you already knew that that was going to be your last trick. Yeah. And you wanted to one up that last trick. You wanted to get something else. Yeah, switch crook. Exactly. Wow. And then and then wrong with that. Well, because yeah, he had he had the cover doing that. Exactly. So you're so like, like, I want to get something else that expecting that to be mm, the end. Yeah. yeah. And I knew I knew I was gonna have the last part too. So I'm like, dude, like I oh, want us something else. For you sure. Know? Yeah. But you already knew that you were gonna have the last part. Yeah. How did this conversation come up? Because listen, it's, this is a primitive video. Yes. This is the gnarly to get the last part in the primitive video yes, is. Dude. A lot of pressure. Bonkers. So what happened was right after Encore, um, like two days after the premiere, Mm -hmm. Alan had me on a lunch meeting with Eric, you know, and he was like, "Uh, we're working on a video for Primitive. We got two years and that's going to be the biggest, you know, project, biggest video project. And then, uh, and you're going to have last part. So you got two years. Wait a minute. They're telling you already before any, Mm -hmm. yeah. Alan's telling you this, yeah. so he's just he's trying to hype you up. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. He probably told Pretty everybody much. on the team. Like, oh, have last part. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. Right that's there. how you do it. I mean, but, I'm telling you. Bro. Hey, everyone had last parts in that video, <laughs> pretty know, much. Why, <laughs> but dude, that's crazy though. Yeah. So he was telling you that in the very beginning. You're so gonna have that last definitely part. Definitely got me juiced, you know. And I'm like, and nervous, like little pressure, but okay. good pressure, you know. And right, I'm like, right, okay. Right. So in my head. I planned it like I'm gonna film like 15 minutes of footage, you know, and I'm 15 I, or yeah, 50? 15. Okay. I'm like, dude, I'm gonna try to film as much as I can, and like every single clip has to be like has to count for me, you know, like has to satisfy me. So that's what it was in my head, and then it was going. And Richard Mulder was living right across the street from my house during that time. I remember that, yeah. So. He was the one who suggested me to go to Clipper because I was like, dude, I don't want to do my last trick on a crunch time. You know, I want to like try to get my last trick before, but I don't know what to do. And he was like, why don't you just go to Clipper and switch back nose bonnet? <laughs> he said that just out of yeah. the blue. Well, he's cutting his steak. <clears throat> he's the best. He's cutting his steak. Dude, why don't you just go to Clipper? Just have to do, do it in his voice. Are you for real? Just do it. I think you can try that. He's like, are you for real? We did. I mean, you did. I bet you did switch flip back nose bonnet on a table. Not not on this part, but not yeah. on this part, yeah, but yeah. a part before this part, right? Um, that was a while back. I think it was Welcome to Primitive. Did you even the one? Did you even consider trying to do a switch flip back nose bunt down Clipper? I did, dude. I thought I was so juiced, but then I had the back, switch back nose bunt. I'm like, what if I start my part with a switch back nose bunt then, <laughs> and, and then, then end it with a switch flip? You know, Ooh. people are like, oh, again, like it would be sick. Yeah. That I, that was like my dream. Okay, know? but did you ever go up and try it? No, no, damn. no. Switch I think you could. It's okay. like it's a big claim, you know. Yeah. That's a huge claim. And but he's our. You're. He's. But another. I was juice, but I didn't know if I was able to do it. I knew I was able to try it, you know. Okay. So I'm like, but I even I think I mentioned to Alan, probably mentioned to a few of my friends too. 
definitely mentioned to JP. But even when you went up to go try the switchback nose blunt, were you even looking at the, at, at it in the terms of like maybe I could switch I could switch flip back nose blunt this thing? No. When I went, so when Richard said that, I was like, like, let me call Kyle. Kyle lived in Kyle Camarillo. Yeah. He lived one block from Clipper because I thought it was knobbed, you know, because nobody had talked about Clipper in a while. So I called Kyle. I'm like, oh, can you check Clipper for me? I want to know if, you know, if it's skatable, if we, if we need to like take some knobs, like maybe try a trick. And then he goes, only if I shoot it. <laughs> and, and I'm like, of course we will. So we're going to, he went next day he went and he sent me a photo the wood was on the run up and the clipper was just perfectly really ready, was ready for you ready yeah, to yeah, yeah. hyped you up so i'm like Ooh, like all right cool like i'm gonna go solo and check it you know and that's like from huntington beach like <laughs> you gonna what you're just you gonna drove go up there. check it out yeah so i thought about it but then in the same kind of like time maybe like a couple days after alan was like oh we're doing a trip to sacramento i want you in i'm like sick uh, but I'm going to drive. I'm not going to be in the van just because I want to stop in SF to check a spot. I didn't even say because I don't want to claim anything. <laughs> yeah. you know? Like mad. He's already key. claiming mm. you're going to have last part though. Yeah, but I'm like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, let's go. Putting you out there. And bro. he's like, no worries, dude. Like, do your thing. Perfect. Okay. So you didn't want to go and try to film it then? You just wanted to look at it. I just wanted to look and then I was going to go to SAC to film and then, you know. Oh, maybe Whatever. on the yeah. way back. Maybe, yeah. You just kind of okay, map okay, it up okay. safe about it. You're kind of mapping it out in your head mapping if it's, possi if it's, yeah. if it's yeah. possible or not. You don't want to waste people's time. Yeah, exactly. right? Sure. Okay. Exactly. So then I drove there and I went straight to Clipper um, from the drive. I hit up Kyle a little after I showed up too because I like went there. The wood was there. So I like warm up on flat ground by myself, grinded it, boom. Like, from 50 <laughs> first time. You see a guy time, skating like, okay, Clipper by himself. By himself. <laughs> Shit, and I go what? damn, bro. Dude, I'm going crazy. Is that Carlos Hibeto? Yeah. What is he doing? <laughs> He's by himself, 5 0 again? I know. Shit. <laughs> God damn, so you just switch back nose blood. <laughs> I'm going crazy, like solo, just like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm going to try to switch back, grind this by myself right now. But I need to. Just, this is me talking to me, you know, I'm like, Papu Ardo. I need to switch back, grind this. Like, if I want to do, okay, I'm going to commit now and like see what happens. And then I didn't land first try but it was mallow okay and then kyle showed up i'm like dude i switched back grinding it already i feel good i think i can do it and then <laughs> so the trip was like five or six days i'm like the last day of the trip i'm gonna come back and we try and it was like a thursday or something but it was still like schools were out still so then i went to sack and i told alan alan on the last day of the trip i'm going to try to switch back noseman clipper but um i just i'm not even going to skate this sack trip like is it cool he's like dude like totally let's let's get it what's your thinking behind that you don't want to burn I, yourself out i don't want to burn myself yeah. out you know i want to be like full Tip -top. Like, yeah. yeah now are other people there like we had Jim being like what are you what's going carlos had, why aren't you skating we had no I, I skated a bunch of spots but i would like grind the rail you okay know? i wouldn't i wasn't trying anything crazy okay. you know okay we went to the spot that geo fake 50 the triple kink you know and mm -hmm. that's a mellow one fun to skate. i grinded that one like that was for me was a milestone i was super hyped on it but i didn't try actual tricks and then be right before the end i'm like kind of nervous and i'm like didn't ellen like let me tell you something i feel like i'm nervous and i, I don't want to just bring the whole van of everybody and like i don't want to waste everybody's time what if i don't try you know and then just having everybody there for me to try a trick i feel like it's going to be like too much pressure for me like is there a way we can arrange something and then i'm like i'm thinking maybe you know like they just go back and i stay and maybe you stay and alex stay and eric and then we film it and then we drive home after okay and alan's like easy let's do it so taylor drove everybody back to la <laughs> okay <laughs> but then i'm usually i like people you know but i was just so nervous yeah. right there and then that's one day before the trip and they're like okay taylor was like dude we got you like easy and then I'm like, did everybody else know that this was going on or was this kind of behind the scenes? I think, was, I think they don't, they didn't know. Nobody okay. mentioned and I kept it low key and cause I was like, kind of, I was nervous, you know, I was mm -hmm. scared. Mm. And it's funny because one day before I'm like, I kind of want JP to come, you know, mm -hmm. it would be cool to have like JP there. Have JP somebody just like, there. Yeah. So I hit up JP. That was like 11 p.m. And I'm like, yo, JP, if I get you a flight from Joe Wayne. <laughs> yeah, right. Bro, so you are the most, you, this is a weird, okay, yeah. keep going. He's I going off of what feels comfortable. No, I know, but it's, it's it. insane. Yeah. Yeah. 11 p.m. Like, if I get you a flight tomorrow, 8 a.m. out of Joe Wayne, I had already checked, you know, United flight. 
uh, would you come? I'll pick you up in the airport because I'm in SAC. I'll drive, pick you up in the airport. We go to Soma, warm up, and I'm going to try to switch back to Nosebon Clipper. And he's like, yeah, let's do it. So I got him the flight, and I'm like, I kind of need Chico there too. You know? <laughs> Chico <laughs> yeah, me from right. allergy time. So yeah, I hit up it. Chico, and I just say, I just texted him. I'm going to try to switch back to Nosebon Clipper tomorrow. And he goes, I'll be there. I'm like, sick. <laughs> I love it. So I got Chico. I got JP. Okay. Good energy. Good no energy. No pressure at all, you know. Not that the boy... <laughs> no pressure. You're flying people in. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He's my homie. We could just go I and grab lunch. I understand. And that's that's no, for sure. Know. For sure. Not like everybody on the primitive thing is my homie. We're family. But I felt I like it. it was kind of like... An, it was driving me kind of like nervous. I think too. anybody listening or watching this could yeah. understand. Yeah, Being a skateboarder sure. could understand what you're talking Hell about. Hell yeah. Right yeah. I don't okay. want it to come off. Like no, 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 no. Yeah. I mean, bro, no, no, skateboarding no, bro. is... Crazy. It's it's yeah. a mental game exactly. as well. You need to be mentally. He was playing chess. That, he was playing chess that day. Totally straight up, and doing what's comfortable for him because he was even so nervous to even go yes, try this. Straight up, dude. Okay, so go on. So, so Chico we went, met there. Yeah. Everybody met there. So yeah, we drove off of Sack. Me, Eric, and then Alan and and Alex Kissinger was gonna meet us at the spot after. Okay. So me, Eric left Sacramento, pick up JP in the airport, went to Soma, and then I'm warming up and I see the hub at Soma. It's kind of big, right? Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, I gotta switch back nose on this, but I was scared to try there, and I'm like. Oh my goodness! I'm scared to try here. Which like, which hub? Soma. It's a skate park. Skate park. Oh, the skate park. Yeah. Okay. And I'm like, I can't believe it, dude. I'm I'm gonna blow it. Like I'm not gonna try. Like I'm scared. Like and then I just kind of like went for it, like blinded, and it was fine. And then, but that took a while. A while of like mental, you know, yeah. breaking down things. Exactly. And I had like set up the time 1:30 p.m. at Clipper, and mm -hmm. that was already 1:30. That's when I first tried to switch back Nosebon Soma hub. Okay. <laughs> I was always sweating like crazy, dude. And then finally, like six, seven tries, I land one. Then I did another one, and I'm like, let's go. And got in the car, like drove straight to Clipper. And then as I got there, Kyle had everything set up. Oh, wow. Like he was already ready. Like Alan was like camera in his hand. Everybody was ready. Like if I ran up and tried, did my trick first try, it would be like photo yeah. clips, three angles. They were all ready. And that made me nervous. Too. I was like, going to oh, say, freak. that's... That's almost more nerve wracking sure. going up and everybody just standing there or just waiting wait, for you, holding their yeah. cameras. Uh, unless you're in the zone, like you were. You know what I mean? Was, yeah. I was. Barely, I barely like. Yeah, but you're going to do a different atmosphere. Like, what's up? Like, what's up? Yeah. What's up? Went up there, like, okay, I got to switch grind this again. Like, and then the whole mental war started, you know, switch grinded. And then I started switch alling, kind of pointing. And that took like probably one hour of switch alling, like acting like switch back nose blowing the air and like uh -huh. kicking out, but like going all over the whole thing. Oh, to the ground. wait, you're just not even jumping. running. You're not even running down the hubba? No, just like going You're in the going air, over so the like, impact, yeah. bro. You can't like run out of that trick. Yeah, yeah you can't do one. Yeah. Well, I could see him kind of kicking out and just. I did that afterwards when I was more comfortable. Okay. But it took me one hour. And sure enough, JP, like he came up, like he's like, dude, like you just burning yourself like if you yeah. really want to do this today you have to like commit on this try like stop mm -hmm. doing it yeah. mm -hmm. and then again i'm like okay dude like all right let's do it so i went blindly again trying and it was fine just lead like casual i'm like oh cool but of course every try took like five minutes you know like roll up like oh uh. but i probably try like 30 mm -hmm. maybe, okay 30 tries like, like actually putting actually it down putting it down before yeah. landing okay yeah and then, yeah, it was the best feeling ever when, you know. So after that, you, you landed it. Did you black out when you did it mm -hmm. or you remember everything? No, I just landed and I just like relaxed, like crazy <laughs> relaxing, like feeling. You well, know, this just has like, been, yes, I can't believe I did it. it. Yeah, How like, long was a trip for when you went up to Sacramento in the beginning? Like a week. A week. So yeah. this is a week's preparation, exactly. a week's Leading thinking about to. it, a week not skating, a week not telling people, a week trying to figure out how to get back down there with like the less people possible and then flying people in, calling Chico, <laughs> going to the Soma park. Like, oh, there's so much that went yes. into this. Yes, dude. So, so I could imagine you went to like Roos Chris after this and just ate like a king. Actually, we went to, with Chico, just like, yo, I know a maximum spot right here. Like, pretty <laughs> okay. well. so we get a burrito, burrito spot. spot. We got a quesadilla. Oh, no, and then skated with JP, actually. Mm. Too. That, we skated like the little flat gap they have by Union Square, you know, just kind of like oh, playing sick. around. From what you just told me, I think JP made you do it. Yeah. I think having did. him there. Yeah. yeah made you do that was the right call to fly him up yes because without him telling you you you're fucking you're fucking up right now yeah you need to just do this you're burning exactly. them legs out bro because i 
because I did this for him back then when he had like on pandemic, he dropped three parts oh and it was the God. same thing. Like he would have me doing tricks for him, you know, mm -hmm. like he would try, there's a trick he he did like an all back overcooking his Ray and Tussie and then like I was there and I'm, he's like, dude, like I need you to heel flip the set. And I'm, I don't even <laughs> heel flip the set. Oh, and I'm here's like, some, here's some footage what? behind the scenes yeah, yeah. stuff. And I'm like, brother, really? He's like, so I'm like, for him, I'm, okay, I'm gonna commit it and then landed it. You know, like I never heel flip a set, so he'll commit and all that. Oh, okay. Oh. So I that, that. We, yeah, yeah. We go back and forth. With I that. love that. I, that's actually pretty, pretty smart. This is a cool little piece right here. I, sorry, Raj, I didn't see this on here, but uh, this is behind the behind the mission. Yeah. This is a. Uh, is this primitive to put this out? Yeah, yeah. I like how how uh, they do. I Alan puts these out like they're pretty rad. Dude. I love yeah. to see this type of stuff because here's the thing, Carlos is like, I and uh, listen, I'm just, you're, you're here. I'm gonna gas you up a little bit. Like you are very talented, and like we've all seen your work, right? But it's so nice to see because I think last time we talked to you over Zoom, you were talking about skating. Mm. Were you talking about skating the switch backside lip down the rail? You're like, I'm so scared yes. to try stuff. Yes. And I'm thinking to myself, like, dude, here's like one of the best skaters right now. And he's, you're like the, the mental process that you go through, like physically and mentally to get a trick is like, it's crazy to me. You know what I mean? I just, I, I assume you just go for it and you're just that good and you just do shit. It's like, if you want to try, you know, you can do it, you know, but just have, I, I gotta be like, for me personally, mm -hmm. I gotta be calm yeah like i won't yeah. try something like kind of sketchy you know if it's kind of big where you can get hurt right if i'm not calm okay so i'm rolling up to it and i'm like nervous i'm like okay i can't try like that mm. and then sometimes i play myself too i'm like i'm just gonna push <laughs> to it and like see and then i get close I'm like, oh and i try you know mm -hmm. sometimes so it's it's weird yeah that's what? crazy that process man. Yeah. what i think is crazy is that i think people have a misunderstanding of that because they see you skate streetly they see you telling these guys this skate, is what i'm talking and about. they just do the tricks on command that one try when they need to and when it comes to the streets everyone just thinks it's the same process mm -hmm. like you go and it's like it's that one try you just do it but even on street league too like you, still, you don't see people like practicing their tricks landing them like three like besides niger you know yeah YouTube. <laughs> yeah but like people just kind of like flanging tricks and then mm -hmm. okay like your turn and then boom full commitment you yeah know, like if you commit to a trick fully and like you skate right. for over 20 years like mm -hmm. there's a big chance you're gonna land it right right but, like a street league you could see like if you try to switch back nose blunt a hubba there that you were scared of you would probably just do kind of the same thing you did there yes. and then when it was go time carlos you're up best trick you would then you'd commit 100 percent yeah. right. yeah and you need JP there to tell you you're fucking, you're fucking <laughs> Yo, up. You better do this. You better do this. Up. So now that you did that, I mean, is it still on the table to try to go back up and switch, flip back, nose blunt it? Um, de definitely want to. Yeah. But um, I need, I need the whole process too. You know, I gotta get back to like, because I haven't switched flip back, nose blunt in, in in a long time. In a long time. Right. I gotta get back to get comfortable with it. That like, confidence back. Start doing on the hubbas, and then you know once you like doing on the like primitive double set hubba, that's a good one. You do it there, and then okay, like ready to go to the street, but that can take a while, and or that maybe doesn't happen. It's a how, good, it's a good one. But on how another do, note, oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. On dude. another note, like the switch crooks that you were trying at Frost, I mean, dude, that that would be gnarly. I mean, so I mean. Which you were way, thinking, we gotta pull that up. You were thinking quick. about that what? on like the back end, and you already got like you know obviously you're kind of meat and potatoes, but just to kind of think about doing that too, I mean that would be amazing. What rail as well. is Frost? We gotta look, we gotta it's pet a double king. We gotta check Arto. this out real quick. Yeah, what, how Arto did that affect lip. Arto back lip? Right. Yes. How did that affect your filming for the part getting that so early? Because you got your last trick done at that point. How did that affect the rest? Did you still just go? I mean, obviously, you went as hard as you could, but did it make you feel comfortable? It made me feel comf comfortable, but also made me feel like I it got me so juiced that I wanted more. Yeah. Yes. But I wasn't thinking about adding to the adding to that as the last trick until like crunch time. I was just like, I want to like get as many tricks as I can that like counts for me. Switch I didn't crooks. realize that yeah. this was frost. Switch crooks, yeah. Right? Okay. Okay. Be you wanted to switch. Crook. Now, did you try it? Switch crook? Dude, I hit up Knob Buster. Shout out Knob Buster. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like, yep. Once again. Yeah. Dude, big shout out yes. Knob Buster. That was like, I was on a barbecue at night and, and he like just sent me a video like 11 p.m. like grinding. Zzz. Wow. This spot. This spot. Yes. The middle one. Shout out to him, bro. Shout out to him. He's like, dude, I got you all, you know laced up everything is smooth ready to go okay and the next day i went and then 
went by myself earlier before everybody too like the whole thing board uh -huh, slid uh -huh. it board slid it yeah i was like wow. <laughs> i'm gonna get comfortable yeah. with that thing <laughs> I was like, should I go straight to it? I'm like, I want to get comfortable. I want to yeah. like really feel it, you know. Let's get, acquainted, let's get acquainted with this yeah. thing. And let's that messed me it. up because when I was grinding it, you know, I was comfortable jumping out of it, running down the mm. stairs. That's when I, you know, roll uh. my ankle. Okay. So unfinished business right there. Unfinished business. Okay. okay. But Did they re -knob it? I don't know, did they re it? I don't think so. Okay. Maybe we just... Okay. No, they, they're still knob. It's knob. Oh, it's knob. Oh, it's knob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Switch crook somebody. You already, you already did the switch crook, right? It's shaving <laughs> it. You're this shaving is, it. This is not a spot everybody's going to fucking try to do I'm some sure. shit on. That's the damn...